So, hello everyone. Here, here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2024 review, and this one's on Ahsoka Tano's Duel on Peridia. And, and now on the front of the box here, we which have the uh, LEGO Star Wars logos and same border with the teal uh, coloring as we've seen with all the Ahsoka sets last year, and also all the mini things included, and also large battle of the characters, and with Thrawn's Star Destroyer above it, and then recommended ages is 8 and up, set number 75385, has 382 pieces. And on to the back side, which see another position of it, and both the features of the set and the logos again, and there. Now onto the instruction manual, which on uh, rendering that they like doing now, but yeah. And then the transition from plastic bags to paper bags, and app for the builder app, and on the back how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, and then last building set for it. So not only advertisements for the other. Uh, summer sets or even last year's Ahsoka sets, which would have been nice for that, but yeah. And now on to the mini bikes included, which are these five right here. Yeah, first, I was from left to right, have have an all do one of Ahsoka Show's version, Ahsoka Tano, which will be face print and Leku, all the same as the one from last year's T6 shuttle set. And, and also the arm printing, same as from that set as well, and, and of course holding the clear lightsabers representing the white lightsabers that she has, but and it also the same from the T6 shuttle set, but yeah. But whereas the torso print and leg printing are all that's new, and also toe printing as well, so so at least great to have some variety of, of that of Ahsoka figs. But yeah, but however, the both the prints do look very good for how they are. But yeah, but although I feel that I think the whoops could have been better in like pure white, since in the show did look a lot more white than than here. But yeah. At least the gray kind of works out, but yeah. And then next to which is a new full-grown version of Ezra Bridger. And also, first time we've had Ezra Bridger since 2016, but however, this hair piece of which works out quite well for him, and also the uh, face printing also quite well, like with the uh, blue eye bits, which would, although that would have been nice on, would which could work out on an updated Rebels version of, of Ezra, but maybe in someday they could, but yeah. But, and of course, wielding the green, or me blue lightsaber there, of course. And then torso print, leg printing, both of which look oh, it's really nice for how they are. And then next to which is, in the center part, and the main highlight of this set, is the all new Grand Admiral Thrawn minifig, of which See, oh, which quite a few updates from the like original 2017 version, which goes for a lot second-hand, which but like obviously the first bit is the dual molded legs there, great to include there, and also the different torso printing than that instead yeah. of like uh, four little bits in the pockets, instead it's just two. But I don't mind then, and also different uh. Imperial badge there, but although it's still nice to include there, and face printing quite similar to the last version, but also it's still as workable as that. And the hair piece, which also same as the last version, but in the last version it was dark blue, and which in uh, Rebels kind of was, but on here, which is in pure black for the live action Ahsoka version, but both cases work out very well for how they are, but yeah. And so if you missed out, completely missed out on Grand Rapid Thrawn, this is which best way to get him, but yeah. 
and the next two we have Morgan Elspeth, which did also come in last year's uh, E Wing versus Shin Hei's fighter uh, set last year, but luckily, although it does have a bit of a variation, such as the face print here, that and the hairpiece, which is probably the same as the version that came in that uh, set last year, but however, the torso printing. Uh, which is still very good, proud is, but also the same for that. You also notice the new uh, sword piece here, which traditional lightsaber hilt, and also uh, the dark saber blade piece, but in trans green, uh, which quite nice to see there. And also great use of that piece, uh, obviously. But yeah, and also the face printing, which does look quite interesting for how it is, and also exclusive to this set. It, yeah, and then last of which is a night trooper, for, of which the helmet piece of which the same dual molded helmet piece from recent stormtroopers, but luckily it does have a little bit of unique printings to it, like on the upper eye part and cheek parts. But as for the toes of print, leg printing, quite good for how they are, and, and of course wielding the small blaster there and. If look underneath the witch, is a little zombie-like face on there. So, oh, it, although kind of similar to the uh, Gudebob orcs in in the Lord of the Rings Hobbit themes, but although still can definitely work for that. But yeah, and although it's kind of strange, and then onto the back side of each fix is. Then I pull these out, and all of which do have some back, nice back torso printing and a few double sided faces. And the Night Trooper does have some slight back head printing as well. And his back torso printing, just the same as all most other store troopers uh, tend to do so. And all of which, some good back torso printings and also nice double side faces for most of them. But as for this minifig selection as a whole of which, uh, they're all great inclusions for that. Although instead of the Night Trooper, could have at least included uh, Captain Enoch for that. But although he would, would have driven the setup like an extra five dollars because he would require a new specific head or helmet piece for that, but uh, maybe he could just come in another set, like in the next year or two. But the minifig selection as is, it would still quite good for how it is, as, and that is about it there. And now on to the main build for the dual operatia itself. Which obviously, almost like the Obi Wan versus Vader set from last year, but does have a lot more going on to it instead of being just a pile of plates and slopes for that. But this, which a bunch of plates and a couple slopes there, but with an actual swishing feature to it instead of like a little extending feature to it. But like as for this front part of which, as you can see, just a couple of jagged slopes on there, and also these little corner pieces, and also this little center part of which, which we can like stand or display a couple of things on to, and have them duel out with uh, some of the other things around them. Then, as for stickers in this set, this set which comes with quite a lot of stickers, and but also a few very big stickers, which might could obviously peel over time if you aren't careful enough with them. And then, as for these other sections, which which do have these like rounded plates, just for a similar feature as the center one for that, and also just a whole lot of wedge plates and a bunch of. A gold bar pieces in uh, gray for that, uh, which definitely kind of useful for mocking. And as for these main pillars in the back parts, of which quite good for how they are. 
And also one neat thing of them is a little interesting little build to that, to give it a bit of texture to that, instead of being like completely bare and vacant from the back part, so quite give Lego props there, and then, well, what else, uh, and also on both sides of the build here is, you get these uh, little gear-like pieces that uh, connect onto little swivel plates, and then these sections of which are where you can store it, put other things onto if you want to. And do so, and then let the two like clash each other with that. So, still quite fun how that is. Well, although kind of almost like some of the other dual sets that there were, well, but still quite fun how they are. But then on to this back side of which I will see barely much going on for that, but this back side of which with these couple stair bits of which, which this which is actually a bit of a launcher kind of feature to it, like take a thing and bounce them on there and tap on this, oh, oh whoops, just tap on this plate here and makes them jump right off, so almost like all the what, what could have worked out is if it was similar to the uh, jumping build that came in the tank droid set in 2009, but maybe that could come eventually in the future, but yeah. <laughs> Still quite fun how that is. And then on both sides of this build of which are still also these a bunch of plates and curved uh, slopes in there just to give it a full curve effect to there. But at least it's still well textured with that with the wedge plates and regular plates and also uh, cornered tiles or large tiles for that. And also to mention with pillars of which, quite nice use of these pieces and cheese slopes to give it the full uh, pointy head part bits to it. Um, yeah. And so now onto the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite good set, or a really cool set for how it is. Like, do get a great minifig selection. Like, especially the return of both Ezra and Thrawn, of course. And also nice to have a variant of Warg and Elspeth that does have a Night Sisters, a uh, uh, Saber kind of part to there. And also nice to have a, yet another variant of Ahsoka. But yeah, and also good to have a Night Trooper, of course. A little bit of extra diversity to your Imperial armies. But, and as for the $55 that it is, like for the 382 pieces for $55, oh, which is quite steep for how it is, well, although 40 or 45, probably 45 would have been as much good for that, but although I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably because of the uh, Ezra Bridger and Grand Admiral Thrawn minifigs that probably put it up that high, but although making do without the night trooper still could have worked out as well as much fairer than however or maybe for all the stickers to apply to it well if they were all printed and it was like worth a little less it would have been even better than that but however for the build that of it or the size of which quite kind of good for how it is like even though it Unlike last year's uh, T6 shuttle set, to which uh, which was a little bit bigger and was obviously five dollars more, but and also had one less mini thing, of which well, I guess it's kind of like a flip around, like flip a dupe kind of ring, kind of thing. I think kind of strange, but yeah. But however, this set as is, which still quite good for how it is, like play good playability like of slashing the minifigs together on the platforms and also the flinging feature but yeah and so now if any, if you're still if you're looking to get this set for your uh, Mandalorian Ahsoka set collection then definitely pick it up 
any of you have well enjoyed Ahsoka and are looking to get a small cheap enough set for the collection which for your collection of which then definitely pick it up and if you are looking to finally get Grand Apple Thrawn since even even though you, if you've missed on the original 2017 one then definitely pick it up then since Thrawn is well worth the improvement over the original uh, 2017 one but yeah and that's about it for this video please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching